With us, our top story this hour, breaking news. Russia and Ukraine and the EU assign a long-awaited agreement on restarting gas supplies to Ukraine and onwards to Europe. Let's take a look at the all-important numbers in the final agreement. Ukraine will pay $378 for every 1,000 cubic meters until year's end, and then it's going to go down again to $365 from the start of 2015. Gas supplies will begin immediately after Ukraine pays $1.45 billion of its debt to Russia in a couple of days' time. In all, Kiev agrees to pay Moscow just over $3 billion by year's end with the help of the EU and the IMF. For more on this, let's go to our Europe correspondent, Peter Oliver, live for us in Berlin. So those are the numbers. Tell Tell us what they mean and what are the key points in this agreement. Well, it's been months and months of hard bargaining at times. Um, it seemed like breakthroughs had been made. Then, well, those doors were closed at the final moment. We were expecting to hear of a, a decision being made on Wednesday evening. We waited, we waited, and then we were told that we were going to have to wait a little longer, at least 24 hours longer. But the decision, the agreement has been signed, and it appears that it's an agreement that, well, it's a victory for everybody concerned. Russia gets the price. It wants for its gas. Ukraine gets the help it needs to pay off its bills from the IMF in the EU and the European Union. Well, they ensure that gas will be able to transit from Russia through Ukraine into those European countries that need it the most. Europe, Europe relies on Russian gas very heavily, with some countries, in fact, getting all of their energy, all of their gas supplies from Russia. So it was important that this was um, shored up. And it's come really right at the 11th hour. It's the last day on Friday, the, um, it's the last day of term, if you will, for the uh, current European leadership. And there was certainly uh, some relieved speeches from the European Commission President, Jose Manuel Barroso, and the man who's been, well, really the point man on negotiations, the Vice President of the European Commission, Gunter Oettinger. Um, now, Mr. Barroso said that what a way, basically, to end his term as President. Mr. Oettinger said that this wasn't just a victory for um, getting the gas back on in Ukraine and getting negotiations between, seeing, showing that negotiations between Russia in Ukraine can work, but also that this was a victory for countries like the Czech Republic, Hungary, Bulgaria, Romania, among others, that rely so heavily on that gas. Um, they stepped down from their positions on Friday. They'll be replaced by, um, by new people. And uh, they've put in place a legal framework that could see gas transit through Ukraine into Europe until 2019. So very important deals there, very important deal for the moment. But also they mentioned that because Ukraine and Russia have been able to um, come to an agreement on this, perhaps there was a future for other agreements that we could see them come to. All right, RT's Peter Oliver live in Berlin for us with those details. Thank you.